Hey Taurus, welcome to Wild Pearl Tarot. Today we're going to be doing an intuitive reading all about abundance. We're going to be using Oracle as well as Tarot. If you've never been to my channel before, I really appreciate you stopping by. Um, so we only take the cards that fly out. I have a conversation with them and uh, take myself out of the picture completely. I'm just the, intu uh, the uh, interpreter. So if you guys would like for me to pray for you, send you my good juju, say hi in the comments section, even if it's an emoji. And that gives me something I can focus on and when I do my prayer work, and I encourage all y'all to do the same if you feel like it. Feels good to put good stuff out there, you guys. Internet's perfect for that. Unfortunately, rarely used for that, but all right. We can raise our vibration together. So this is all about abundance. So what does Taurus need to know at the time of viewing this? This is a timeless reading, intended to be timeless. At the time that you see this, what is going to be helpful in your life to know about focus on your priorities Taurus where you put your focus on is where you receive your outcome your priorities are calling to you which may produce a feeling of anxiety unless you give them time and attention they and you deserve and that oftentimes is what anxiety it is is what anxiety is is your spirit or your body telling you hey you need to focus on this this needs your attention right even a small amount of time devoted to your priorities will help you feel better and more confident, even if it's 10 minutes a day. And of course, a lot of times where our priorities are concerned, that's where our procrastination happens as well, right? So little steps, baby steps, boo. All right, our next message from the Divine Me Messenger deck, the Divine Feather Messenger deck is the power to heal the earth is within you. This is going to be an interesting reading. I got to get another one. The power to heal the earth is within you. We have the message of the blue jay. The time is right to access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. Wow, there's a lot of the time is right for this. The power to heal you. This is like almost like action is around the corner, right? Like the time is now feeling is throughout all these cards. Um, where you put your focus. So there's a lot of intention. It's, it's calling upon your integrity, your intention, your ability to focus, how you spend your time and belief in yourself. Let's see where your tarot takes you. So for our Taurus, what messages about abundance for Taurus? And I'll make this an extended reading. And if you'd like to follow me to the extended reading, the link will be in the description box below. But I want this to be useful and helpful, even if you don't follow me to the extended reading. Our first card out is an offer. So this is um, an individual coming towards you with a cup. Collaboration is key. We have the Hierophant. This is your energy at the center of the reading. Let's get two more cards out. For Taurus, filling out this scope of abundance. Okay, three cards. Oh, wow, great. We end up with the sun. End up with the sun. We need to unpack this further to get some more detail, but I'll tell you, you have the emperor in the center of the reading, and this talks about it could be a boss, but it could be just taking control of one's life. We'll find out which one of that is. Next to it is the hierophant. This represents belief systems, commitments, and institutions. We have the empress card upside down, which I want to get a little bit more information on. And we have the sun. All these are huge messages. These are called the major arcana. There's 22 in a deck of 78. And so I want to pay attention to that because that's not subtle. At the beginning of your reading, we have that Knight of Cups making an offer, somebody coming in with a possibility. And then we have a collaboration card of Three of Pentacles. These are energies that have the same intention. They're working towards the same goal as you. Let's unpack this further. If you haven't yet, I invite you to hit the like button, consider subscribing, especially for those of you who are returning and you find that these readings are helpful. Please be a friend, subscribe. It's free. Knight of Cups, what do we need to know about Knight of Cups for my Taurus? Oh, interesting. What do we need to know about this Knight of Cups for my Taurus? Cups represent emotional energies. They represent relationships, creative arts, the creative arts, things that spark Passion, compassion, feelings. I feel that, um, tell me more about this knight. 
This is somebody leaving a situation that they cared very much about at one point, but standing by their guns, there's a strong feeling of conviction. It's time. It's been exhausting the burden. It's time to put down the burden. And um, uh, the thing with the Knight of Cups, for some of you guys, this is going to represent somebody in your life that has been non-committal. They look great. They could be very um, enchanting, you know, and this doesn't even have to be romantic, but it could certainly be so. This person looks great from uh, an outside perspective. They can be almost inspiring, enchanting, and charismatic or whatever, but they sometimes lack the discipline or the loyalty to go the whole distance with yourself. So that is somebody's scenario out there. But either way, there is a sense of um, standing by one's convictions, fighting off any doubt, and making a decision to leave something behind that they could, it could very well be a, a relationship um, or an offer that just doesn't remain any more than an offer. It just keeps on coming up as an offer, but it doesn't build out from there. Um, and so you need to release that, that burden. Um, the Ten of, of Wands talks about the ending of a chapter, and that chapter specifically is one that is that can be exhausting if you don't let it go. So now we have a collaboration card of the Three of Pentacles. For those of you who are um, considering dating, this can be online dating. I just have to throw that out there. What is this Three of Pentacles? For my Taurus, this is the bridge that transforms everything. Temperance card. There is going to be a transformation by way of collaboration with others here. This is Kenny Pentacles in reverse. Oh boy, that unpacked a story. <laughs> definitely going to be an extended. You could be meeting somebody or this could be yourself. Energies always can be reversed with all tarot readings. So they're going to say that. There's like this love offer. I mean, it could be just a relationship, a friendship offer, but it promises stability, but there is, um, there's fear attached. There's fear of the unknown fear if it doesn't work out. And there's this, there's an individual here who is shutting off their emotions. You don't get an Ace of Cups met by a King of Pentacles that actually receives it. The King of Pentacles kind of can turn on a practical cold side of their nature. This is somebody who can, for instance, block the emotional vulnerable side by looking at what's just on paper, right? Um, what's just, what looks good on paper? What is going to promise stability? What is going to be impressive? Um, and it's understandable because I think that we cultivate those superpowers for a reason. They come from a place. So that's all that is being said right there. Basically, there, there's this collaboration for some of you guys, it's online dating. It could be working with others in some kind of dynamic that is going to uh, offer you the possibility of a new relationship, friendship or romantic. This is probably more stable than one realizes, but there's so much fear and the unknown shrouding around it that, and, that it's not showing me anybody's taking any leaps yet. Now we have the Hierophant. Who's this Hierophant? The Lovers. So this is about structure, institutions, marriage. It's about how you commit yourself to another, how someone commits themselves into a relationship. It's coming out with a chunk of cards, and that is, you'll like this, healing and recovery. The world opening back up, what's possible, and growth. Literally, with the Page of Pentacles, this can be self-growth. And now we have the Emperor card. So it's looking more and more like it's a relationship abundance that we're talking about here. Um, and my, my eye goes right to the, the Oracle card. The power to heal the earth is within you. 
And I'm wondering if sometimes when we feel compromised emotionally, everything is compromised. It's taking leadership, a struggle in a, in a partnership, a control. It's like definitely kind of like um, control issues popping up. We all have, we all have control issues being triggered, right? And this partnership is triggering it or possible partnership. The emperor is not upside down. No one's being demonstrative here. It's just like, it's difficult to make a decision with the two of swords. It's difficult to know what one really wants because there's triggers around control. And so can anything grow? in that place or is it a desert that's what that's what she asks right the empress asks she came out right next to the emperor but she came out upside down the emperor and the empress now that is power and that's abundance and i think she's kind of given you away queen of pentacles represents earth signs um The hierophant upside down so breaking social norms breaking the rules thinking outside the box asking what if you know like questioning one's relationship to the way things are done one's relationship to the rules um and all these are coming outside in the lover's court upside down Feeling like you don't want to make a poor choice in love. You don't want to make a poor choice with your partnerships. And the right now, <clears throat> right now, I'm speaking to the Taurus that may feel um, the opposite of abundant in that area, just because it's hard to make a choice. It's hard to move forward in this place for some reason. But then we end up with a sun and we have healing in this. The time is right to access and master your abilities. Do so with humility and control. Then we have putting down for the second time, putting down this emotional burden, putting down this 10 of wands and then having six of wands. So you guys, we have victory here. Your tarot reading, it carves a story. There's, it feels that there has been a flaky energy or an immature energy in your world somewhere. Their decision to um, move away from something you worked hard at, building this relationship, putting all those, tending to those cups, that was not an easy decision. And it really took some self-belief, sticking by your convictions. And because this is the effort you've put into, you've been putting in to dropping this burden somehow. This is letting go of somebody so that you can move on with your life. Within this collaboration, whether it's online dating or it's somebody you meet at work, there is very possibly a big transformation available to you. However, can it come through is the question. It might not be the timing. The timing, the potential is there and that's enough for right now maybe, but the timing has to be right. And for the timing to be right, one has to heal. And that's why we're getting that beautiful six of swords right there, the world card, you'll open up or this person will open up when the time is right. Because right now somebody's shut down. Um, this is specifically a lot of you guys, this has something to do with marriage. Like maybe you guys are getting a, a divorce or you know, you don't believe any longer in the institution of marriage. I do, I do have to say that because the lover's card came out with a higher offend. So but this is really about how you commit yourself within your relationships. You know, one, one card on that. What about that? Yes, seven of wands. You have, you have your ideal. You know where you, you know where your ideals are. You know how you are in relationship, what you're looking for, and you're sticking to that, sticking by your convictions again. And so eventually you will hit that this decision. It will come back around, um, you know. And it's going to be around a relationship. It's going to be around, it's going to trigger some control power issues. And we all have those. I'm not calling you a power freak or control freak. This is really about just letting go and believing in a partnership.
But we have the Two of Cups here, which is a beautiful partnership. A two on two, though, the Two of Swords. It's very hard to make this decision with that blindfold on. So we'll talk about that in Extended. But either way, the question to ask is like, if one is a desert, how can anything grow? And so timing plays a big role there. It'll eventually rain, you know? It'll eventually feed the earth, the soil. Huh, just realized the power to heal the earth is within you. Coming full circle. It'll eventually re rain. It'll eventually heal you. And then it'll eventually be time. And then you've got the sun. You've got the 10 of wands, conf confirmation. You have finally put down this burden. You have finally finished up that old chapter. Total success happiness and in your extended reading that's where i want to pick up where we're leaving off is your happiness what's next advice from tarot and um yeah sending you off with love i hope this was helpful and uh if you would like to follow me it's about the price of a cup of coffee at six dollars the link is in the description box below take good care Mwah.